The traditional and most common method of making a blanket fort is by using chairs. But what if you don't have chairs available? Don't worry if you don't know how to go about it, this article will guide you on how to make a blanket fort without chairs. A blanket fort is an interesting way to keep your kids occupied indoors and entertained while learning in the process. They could play inside the fort for a very long time. Besides, it is a great way to spend time with your kids as you build and have fun together. Steps to make a blanket fort without chairs. Method 1 Using Cushions Items needed 1. Blankets, lots of it 2. Cushions or cardboard boxes 3. Pillows 4. Mop stick or broom optional. Step 1. Gather the needed items This is where you get the items needed to make the fort. Most of your items can be gotten at home. Therefore, you don't need to go shopping for one unless it isn't enough. Step 2. Position the cushions. After getting sufficient cushions, place them in a standing position. The cushions will serve as the fort's walls. If you don't have sufficient cushions, you can make use of cardboard boxes. Step 3. Position the pillows. While the cushions serve as the walls, the pillows serve as the foundations. Therefore, place them close to the cushions to support their standing position. Step 4. Throw blankets over the cushions. The blankets function as the roof of the fort. To put them in place, simply drape them over your cushions. Drape the blankets in such a way that they hold the cushions upright and firmly in place. Step 5. Position the mop stick. Although this step is optional, it enhances the fort's design. Take your mop stick or a broom and place it in the center of the fort. Use it to push the blanket up. Make sure the stick is secure to avoid it from injuring someone in case it falls. Method 2 Using Other Furniture Items Step 1. Select the items you want to use. Look around the house and see what solid items can be used to support the fort. Items like ottomans, boxes, and laundry hampers can be used. Step 2. Position the items. If you will be using several items to make the fort, place them side by side. Make use of items with varying heights. This will allow the fort to have low and high places, which leads to more fun. The items should also be high enough to accommodate someone in a sitting or crawling position. Step 3. Cushion the floor. To make the floor comfortable, throw in some pillows like gel pillow or cushions at the corners of the fort. Place additional blankets on the floor and sleeping bags. Step 4. Drape the blanket over the items. The blanket to be used must be large enough to cover the furniture items. Take the blanket and drape it over the pieces of furniture you already positioned. Make sure it covers the edge of each piece of furniture. To prevent the blanket from sagging down in the middle of the fort, make sure it is stretched and firm. Tip, use darker colored blankets and more blankets to make the inside part of the fort darker. Inversely, use light colored blankets and fewer blankets to make the inside of the fort brighter. Step 5. Fasten the blankets in place. To make certain the blanket does not slip off later on, it is advisable to fasten the blanket in place. You can do this by using a clothespin or some heavy objects to fasten the blanket at its edges. Whereas a clothespin like the Home X wooden clothespins may only work for certain furniture items, it may not work for others. Method 3 Using a Curtain Rod This method is perfect if you want your fort to be high enough that one can walk inside it. It is also suitable for small spaces such as a closet, hallways, etc. Here are the steps to follow to make a blanket fort using this method. Step 1. Position the curtain rod. Take the curtain rod over the center where the roof of the fort will be. Ensure the rod is properly secured before moving to step 2. To test how secure it is, tug the rod gently at the center. Step 2. Drape blanket over the rod. Pick the blanket you intend to use and drape it to cover the curtain rod. Make sure the blanket is very large to cover across and long enough so that it extends to the fort's floor. Sofa slipcovers can also be used if you don't have enough blanket. 
Step 3. Position smaller furniture items. Now take smaller furniture items and use them as a support for the lower part of the blanket. This will help keep the blanket in place. Do not use furniture items that aren't sturdy else they will fall off easily. Method 4 Using a clothesline. This method is perfect if you desire a very long and large fort. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. String the clothesline. Tie a clothesline from the end of the room to the other. To ensure the clothesline is well secured, attach it to sturdy items like a doorknob. Tip. You can make the fort longer by joining two or more clotheslines. Or you can save yourself the trouble by getting a longer clothesline. Step 2. Drape blankets over the clothesline. Choose a blanket that can cover the whole length of the clothesline. Then drape it over the clothesline. Step 3. Secure the blanket. Secure the blanket by using the small furniture items on the floor of the fort. This will prevent the blanket from slipping off. Method 5 Using a bunk bed. Bunk beds can be used to make a blanket fort. The final size of the fort is dependent on the size of the bed. In most cases, this method is suitable for just one or two people occupying the fort at a time. Making a fort with this method is quite easy. Step 1. Just hand a blanket from the top mattress, but tuck it in at the top to secure it. Step 2. Let the blanket flow down to cover the bed at the bottom. Step 3. Then cover the edge of the bed with a smaller blanket. And your fort is ready. Method 6 Using a Four-Legged Table This method is the easiest method discussed so far. Step 1. Select a table. Choose a table with four legs that will serve as your fort's base. Make sure the table is quite high to accommodate someone that is crawling or sitting. Step 2. Drape the blanket. Drape a blanket over the table. Make sure the blanket is very to fall and cover the table at its sides. Making the fort fun and comfortable. There are different ways to make the blanket fort more fun and comfortable. We discuss some of them briefly below. Make tunnels. You can make tunnels in the fort by using an empty box. Just open up the box at both ends and place it on its side. This box can be used to connect to another fort, that is if you have two forts. Or it can serve as an entrance into the fort. To blend the tunnel to fit the fort, cover the box with a blanket. Cool the fort. Forts are known to get hot over time. You can cool the fort by placing a fan at the entrance of the fort. Placing it at such a strategic position will allow air to circulate evenly. Do not put a blanket at the back of the fan. This will prevent the blanket from getting stuck in the fan. Light it up. Forts can be somewhat dark especially if you use dark colored blankets. So lighting up the fort will make it look nice and comfortable to stay in for a long time. Also, lighting up your fort gives allows you to read in there. This can be used to read bedtime stories to your kids. Christmas lights are great for blanket forts. You can line them across the ceiling or place them around the corner of the fort's floor. Battery-powered lanterns, flameless candles, flashlights, for scary story time, can also work wonders inside the fort. Play games and have fun. A fort is made for fun. Therefore, go into your secure fortress with enough games to play, board games, card games, even video games can be brought inside the fort. Books are also a great addition. You can decide to even watch a movie in there on a laptop or a tablet. However, do not take in too many things into the fort. Make sure you have enough room to move inside the fort. What's a fort without food? It would spoil the fun if you had to constantly go out to get some snacks and food. You can prevent this by stocking up your fort with enough to eat and drink during the period you'll be in the fort. Fruits, chips, popcorns, crackers, cookies, water bottles, juice boxes are just a few examples of the items you could bring into your fort. But as you know very well, whatever goes into your body, a portion will have to come out eventually. So, go easy on the snacking and drinking while in there. Final words. Making a blanket fort is one way to keep your kids occupied while they have fun especially when they can't go out. 
Also, staying with them in the fort is a great way to bond with them. We hope the methods shared above have helped you create your blanket fort. Which of the methods will you use? Or if you have used any of these methods before, we will like to hear your experience. If you have further questions about this post, please let us know in the comments section below. We always do our best to reply to each comment from our esteemed readers. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. And hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. And visit our site, www.zimhomefurniture.com for more awesome, home furniture, content like this.